Hey guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoners War video. We are back on Psycho's account. We are we just finished doing his arena improvement, so now we're gonna go into his Guild War improvement. I think most uh, the thing that he wanted was Guild War office improvement, just meaning that he wanted some team suggestions and what he could rune up. I'm going to make him some suggestions and tell him how he should rune them. Maybe I'll rune some some of them myself, just so that it is part of the video. You guys see how. Uh, my thought process on creating a office. Um, so we're gonna open just a like a test. I wonder if anybody in this guild has a full offense. Let's just check that out. Okay, this one. Yeah, let's just test it out here. So one of the most common defenses that you see that are um, uh, good in the current G1 or lower meta is the double water twins with the Chloe so this is a definitely a good offense against the Kamun Vigor Skogles which is really really popular right guys so the Chloe goes first puts up immunity and will and then the entire other team goes they do whatever they want the buff the shred because Vigor is water and Chloe is fire, the Chloe is not going to die. Obviously it has immunity, it's going to target that. Same for the Kamun, it's not going to target the twins because it's water type. And only the Skogo is actually going to hit hard. But if there's three units on your side, it should be able to survive one Skogo hit. So when you go, you should kill off the Kamun first, then the Vigor, then the Skogo. When the Skogo rock is up, don't try to touch him so that he doesn't get his rock back up right away. And that should be enough turns for you to heal with the Chloe after the first rock, have enough HP and then finish off the Vigor and then finally the Skogol that does not have a rock is not that scary. And at that point if he does if he does throw up the rock you're still almost full health so it shouldn't be an issue. So this is definitely one, one offense so let's put that. Now let's go to a second one. What's a good offense in, in Guild Wars? So anything that has a Vigor with the Kamun and with the Skogol is a good defense, okay? Come on, Vigor Skogol is, I mean, is a good offense. Come on, Vigor Skogol, Skogol is a good defense and still a good offense in G1 and Lower Siege and Guild Wars. So I definitely think that's a good one. So I think you should put that there. Now, I saw that you have some good strippers. So I think the, the Sierra, Juno, and maybe the Malaka that I saw that you had is probably an also also a good offense. I wonder if you have CN. You probably don't, right? Yeah, you don't. If their team does not have that much damage and it's a tanky team, you can always take this team in, uh, use the Juno as a stripper, then use the Malaka to put up the bomb, and then Sierra follows up that up with another bomb, and then she blows everything up, which should most likely get rid of their team, right? Uh, the one downside is that this team does not have a attack buff, so we can even take out this and put in the Fran. You can put it even this and if they don't if they don't have will you just have to survive a hit and then the Fran goes put up attack buff, Malaka goes and then finally the Sierra goes to bomb everything up. So I think that's a good offense as well. So we already got three offenses. Um, I want to kind of change this because I think this is a good offense but I don't like this middle pick. So if you put the school goal here I kind of want you to have like a will unit or yeah, I think will unit is the safest way to say it. Somebody that would put up will. Or even this. I think this is safer. The Harmonia. So you should do that. Okay, so I'm going to be ruining these four up. Uh, some of them already have runes and we're going to then rune it appropriately. And then we're going to take it into some of these defenses that his teammates are running. Most of them are half or uh, you know empty defenses. But we're going to find... We're probably just going to test it on these defenses and see how they work. Also, I just noticed you can now change this. Or this, like you don't need both of these defenses, right? Because if you want to do a Lucian now, you could just take in the Bernard. Just take in the Bernard, take in the Konamiya. That's pretty, just remember to six star your Konamiya. This is really good. And you could take in the Lucian, the Fat Lucian. Uh, this team you'll take in when you're very confident with your speed. Yeah. Okay, these five are something that you could use. These, this one's already ruined up. 
These two ones we have to get to work with. I think we're gonna ruin this one up first because the bigger is already ruined up. Then we'll work on this and then this and then this. And then we're good. I think by doing this, uh, we have some siege defenses that we can use as well. This is a good siege defense. This could also be a siege defense, but he only has one school goal, so I don't know how that would work. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Um, let's go into the common bigger school goal. So the bigger is done. Next is the school goal, which I know I took out some runes. This is way too slow. So let's get right in and try to make him the speed that we want, which is probably like 200 speed. Okay, so this is Skogo. His defense is kind of low and he's not exactly on 200 speed, but that was something that was hard to get. But we did put him on Violent Will on 92 resistance, so I think that is a big, big, big improvement. And we will use him like this. Finally, let's go with the Kamun. And we're gonna go with Violent if we can. If we can't, we'll go with like a random build, uh, even Despair maybe. But he's gonna be slightly slower than the Skogo. I kind of want to put him on like Swift so we can just get him tank gear and put him on a crit damage build. Let's try that. So this is Kamun and he's a little slower than the Skogo, but I like that he has crit rate and crit damage. He has 30k HP and we got him some good artifacts to take less damage from water, life drain, crit damage received. That's the same here. Um, more damage, crit damage received minus 8%, so a total of 10% with minus from water. So he's going to be able to survive. So that was one offense, right? So let's just go right in and see how it does. See how it does against his fellow guildmates. Uh, obviously, uh, okay, okay, let's go into one of these, right? Because these are not going to be half. There you go. What do we go? How do we, should we, should we fight this? Look at that. What the, is, no. So look, let's, let's compare the runes. Yes, he's going to have more HP. Okay. Uh, more HP, yeah, but that's it. Look how slow they are. Okay, okay, this one's fast, swift, similar to ours, much faster, but no crit rate, crit damage. Let's let's test it against this. Look, I'll just show you. So we are look at look at our runes. Okay, we're slower than the Kamun side. That's fine. Still reasonably like fast. It'll move. And look at this vigor, this beautiful vigor compared to this vigor. We have a hundred more speed. And what, are we are we missing a lot of HP? No, we're missing only like 3k, right? Yeah, we're only missing like 3k. Yes, we're missing a lot of defense, I get it, I get it. But other than that, we're so much faster. And look at this goal. Almost 100 red, reds on Violent Will. Look at this one. Violent Energy and has 7,000 more HP. And it is so slow. Not even 100 reds. Uh, but okay, let's 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 compare it. Let's see which one is better because before he Improved this before I improved this team his Kamun Vigor score was similar to that team right there But obviously we move first his Kamun's on will that's good. So we can't go for that So let's go for this guy right here. Oh, no defense break. We, we lost here it goes Man, we're definitely so much faster. Look at the damage. Okay. He defense broke us now. We put this up You really want your coming to go after your Vigor for the person that has that team over there because defense break and then the nuke he could have killed off my Kamun right there but he didn't because he's moving second oh we don't do that much damage but that's fine oh that's a good effect and should we put up yeah we should we should put up speed buff look he's still not moving we're gonna take a turn again holy cow it's so slow defense break this time please okay we got the defense break uh we're not on violence, so we can't do it. Okay, he procs. That's fine. We need a proc right here. Proc? Nope. But we could we kill? Yeah, we killed. So he's gone. And at this point, we won. We're just so much faster. We're going to heal up all the damage he does. And there's no way we're going to lose. There's just no way, right? Right? Am I mistaken? I might be mistaken, right? No, he's still not moving, guys. He's still not moving. Look, I got my heal up again. I'm, we're not going to lose. Okay. Okay. Okay, easy. Kaboom. And we won. I mean, you guys see that we won, okay? I mean, there has to be some guildmates that have good defenses in here, right? I mean, obviously, I chose a really weak one. It looks weak. Um, so let's find one that. Okay, this guy, Trigger, he's the guild master, it looks like. This guy has to have a good one, right? Um, ooh, see, this is why you need Triana, because you have a, you have a Martina as well. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, I was like, oh, yeah, but it's on Swift. 
I don't know if this could survive a Lucian and Fatal. I don't know, man. They should all be on violent. They should be able to survive a Lucian. Okay, let's go on work on the second offense. And the second offense is an offense that are that is really effective against that Kamun Vigor Skogo you just saw right there. Which is gonna be the double twins, double water twins with the Chloe. So let's work on Chloe first. She has to be fast. She's way too slow right now. I wonder if you have another good swift set that could hit 270. I'm pretty sure you don't. Ah. You need to, uh, Psycho, you need to farm more, you need to farm more GB12, okay? And this is Chloe now on 267 speed. This is the fastest we could make her, so we just have to use her like this. Sorry guys, this is the best we could do. And now let's rune up the Sabrina and Talia. We're gonna make Sabrina move first, she's going to be on Violent, okay? Violent, Focus, Violent, Will, Violent, anything, she just needs to be on Violent. Okay, that's more like it. So this is Sabrina. I like his, I like her HP. I like her attack. I don't like her defense so much, but she's gonna have immunity and will. So it's the same word. She's gonna have immunity and invincibility. So for a turn at least, so she's gonna be fine. Her crit rate is okay. Her crit damage is pretty low, but we'll work with her like this. So I like Talia to be on like Fatal or Rage and just dash out the max damage she could put out. So that's what we're gonna do. She's not gonna be on Violent. So let's try to find the build for her. She's currently on broken. Obviously, we took off took off some runes because we were ruining other things. Yeah. Okay. So we're done with Talia. This is how she looks like. She's on fatal energy, and we are done with the we're done with the offense. So I'm gonna show it to you guys right now how it works. Okay. Go like this. Let's go right in. I'll show you how it works. Are we faster than the vigor? We're not. Freak. We're not faster than the vigor. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Okay, okay, that's that's okay, that's okay. Okay, yup, Atlas Stone goes up, he goes for this. We have to kill the Kaboon right here. Oh, no defense break! Nice additional turn, we got the defense break. So we kill off the Kaboon right now. Boop, 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 there you go. Uh, I have to heal, because we have to take the rock. Boom, there you go. Oh, nice proc on this side. Ooh, that was a strong hit. We have to kill the Vigor right now. No defense break, nice proc. Oh my goodness, we are not getting the defense break. But I think we'll kill the Vigor right here with this Deli Dance. There you go. And oh my goodness, you're proccing too many times. This is why you put up on a fast violent set. But I thought, oh shoot, if you proxy here, we lose. Uh, oh shoot, guys. Come on, can we survive? Come on, defense break, kill. Oh, there you go. That's how you guys win, okay? It was a lot closer, but that Kamu Bigger School has a better rune quality than this offense, and that's the reason why it was pretty close. And let's look at the Harmonia. Harmonia is not in a good state. Yeah, we definitely need to rerune that. And then we re need to rerune the Trash Jar, because I think Trash Jar is too slow. Yeah, that's too slow. He's on Violent, but way too slow. Uh, so let's see if we can get him faster around the speed that Skull goes at, which is around the 90s. And then Harmonia will probably go first in front of everybody in case um, they get controlled so that she could cleanse. But we're going to put Treasure on Violent Will as well. Okay guys, so this is Treasure now. He's much faster and we actually was able to get him on Violent Will. So I think he's in a good spot. He will go really well with the uh, Skogo offense, pretty similar in speed, well 10 speed slower, but more HP. Um, yeah, they're both on Violent Will. So finally, let's ruin the Harmonia. And we really want to get 100 resistance if we can, because that's what Harmonia is good at. To not get defense broken, to resist everything, and to proc every single turn. <laughs> so we're gonna put her on Violent Endure or Violent Nemesis on 100 res and hope that we could get her faster than the Kamun Vigor. Sorry, not the Kamun Vigor. The Skogo and Treasure. It's just I say Kamun Vigor Skogo so many times. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we are done with Harmonia. She's a, she's slightly faster than the Skogo. She's a hundred rats, and she is on Violent Nemesis. So let's test this out, and this will be the last one before I end this video. Let's just um, attack this. I'm exactly not sure if it'll work well against this. Because this defense is actually really good. And the rune quality I believe is higher. 
Um, yeah. So let's try this and see how it goes. They have a lot of sustain to be honest, and the shield that comes that's coming with the Kamun. So I'm kind of scared. Oh, the hundred res doesn't do anything, right? The hundred res it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, the skull will derp. So we throw one, we throw two. Man, look at that guy. Should we do this? Uh, actually, I think we could take. I think we could take a rock. Oh, he derped again. Okay, okay. Okay, nice. We proc, so we go again. Yeah, they're very tanky. Nice, the resistance played this time. Okay, so this is not gonna help that much. Can we do it on the Skogul? And maybe give us some health? Not that much, but yes, it worked. So now... Oh, the heal comes in. Oh, this is bad. We're not gonna have it. Then we heal up. Sleep. Nice, 34% accuracy. It works, guys. Push back. Uh, we need the rock. Can we proc? Treasure, thank you. Proc again. Nice, and we win. So it's not the safest team, but it works, okay? So guys, that's it for this part of the video. He wanted some siege, um, well not siege, he wanted some offenses that he could use, and I think the three offenses that I made him are pretty good. Let me actually put them up so that he knows them and he doesn't forget about them. Oh, they are up here, so they are right here. Um, oh, so we could actually get rid of this. So yeah, Psycho, all the offenses I created is here. I couldn't, I don't have time to make this one. But what you'll do is that you'll make the friend go first, then the Malaka go, and then finally you'll make the Sierra go. They should also be all on Violent Will to really work well, because it's more of a second turn team. Just remember that. Well, yeah, guys, that was it for today, or that was it. Yes, I think that was it for today. I'm kind of tired. I think that it took me, what, eight hours to do all of these videos for Psycho right now, and I think we still want to make a Siege defense for him. Um, so I think I'll do that tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure he understands. But again, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like to this video, smash that like button for me so that this video could be exposed to more viewers out there. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because that really helps me. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!